something's moving in the vents at my workplace. You know, I'm not really a superstitious person. I believe most things in our world have a logical explanation. Though this time, I'm not really sure I want to know it. I've been working in a server room as a technician for a few months now, and things have gotten unsettling recently, to the point that I don't really feel safe walking around that endless labyrinth of neon lights and black plastic. It was cool when I first got here, but now, it feels like I'm on the set of Alien. Three days after I started working here, as I was replacing some components, I heard something bumping in the vents. At first, I thought it was a rat. Bad news for a place that needs to be squeaky clean. So I reported the issue to my superior, who said he will bring it up to the higher ups. Of course, the suits and their overwhelming presumption undermined the situation. So we had to deal with this constant thumping over our heads. There seemed to be only one though. So nobody got particularly worried about it. And over time, we kind of got used to it. A senior co-worker even named the thing Gerald. So every time we heard a quick rattling over our heads, as a joke, we all started greeting the little guy. It was funny for a while, until we started suspecting that Gerald was no rat. When we came into work one day, we noticed some big scratch marks that tore the vent slightly open, as if somebody cut the metal with a knife. Rats chew on stuff, but their teeth are not fucking katanas. Once again, we reported our findings to our supervisors. This time, however, they decided to call a rat catcher. How can a rat do that to a metal ventilation shaft? It's as if their brains just process what we said in our previous complaint while ignoring the current one. Later that day, I saw the poor bastard that had to wrestle whatever the hell Gerald was coming into the server room. We told them what we knew and showed them a couple of pictures of the damage to the shaft. They didn't even flinch when they saw the cuts. They just looked at each other and shrugged it off. I wasn't sure if they had seen worse or if they were just too dense to understand that's not something a rat can do. So we waited upstairs near a coffee machine while talking to some other employees about the situation. To my surprise, Everyone has been reporting the skittering months before I even started working here. Though, since the server room is the only area of the building with exposed ventilation, it's the only place where some serious damage was visible. Something didn't add up. I know the suits are greedy bastards, but if this is happening all throughout the building, wouldn't they be worried too? Two hours passed, and the rat catchers were nowhere to be found. Then. I heard a rattling just above our heads. Those idiots downstairs let Gerald get away, I thought to myself. So I decided to go downstairs to see what those goobers were doing. I bet they were the cheapest the suits could find, greedy fucks. When I got into the server room though, there was nobody there. I stood there for a moment in shock, waiting for a footstep or a light cough, but nothing just the constant buzzing of the server room. The lights had seemingly gone out. Only the bluish glow from the server's lights illuminated the room. For a moment, I thought those idiots just left. But when I went deeper into the room, I saw some of their equipment just laying there, abandoned in the many rows of servers. There was no sign of a struggle, nor a cartoony splash of blood on the floors or walls. Then I heard it again, the skittering. He was back. He started moving around the vents, this time at a much lower pace. I couldn't understand where he was. The sound of him crawling echoed through the vents like a war drum. Then I heard a loud thud coming from a few rows on my left as if a heavy weight fell on the floor. A low guttural chattering filled the room. I didn't move. I stood still, frozen in fear. My lips shut, my fists clenched. The chattering then stopped. The door wasn't too far from me. If I stayed calm and rushed as fast as I could, 
I would have made it. But right when I slowly positioned myself towards the door, the chattering began. This time, louder and more high-pitched, accompanied by the wet sound of countless limbs slamming against the floor. He knew where I was. He was coming for me. Without hesitation, I rushed towards the door. Even when I could feel his putrid rotten breath on the back of my neck, I slammed the door shut as Gerald pushed harder and harder with his body. Then, without reason, he gave up. He once again emitted that low alien sound with whatever mouth it may have and crawled back deeper into the server room. I ran back upstairs bursting in tears, terrified that the beast could have been right above my head. A large group of employees grouped around me as I came back, pale as a corpse, with my heart in my throat, sobbing like a grieving widow. I told them what happened to me and what probably happened to the crew. Begrudgingly, they all seemed to believe me, and one of my team proposed to go straight up to the guys up top to ask them directly, and lots of people agreed. A small platoon gathered up to represent all of us in front of the secretary's desk, waiting to meet the board of directors, but she wouldn't budge, insisting they were on a very important meeting. It didn't matter. A guy from accounting stormed in like a bullet train, and then he stopped. A very important meeting, huh? He shouted, showing us the inside of the meeting room. It was empty, not just devoid of people, but of furniture too. The room was just a dud. We urged the secretary to tell us what was going on, but she seemed clueless. She never even saw the suits. She was just meant to keep people out and report complaints via email. We heard rattling above us once again. We decided to leave, immediately. The whole building has gone on strike now, but the board isn't responding. Legally, I can't say their names because of some defamation bullshit, but as they are a global corporation, I feel obligated to say this to you. If you hear something moving through the vents at your workplace, quit. <laughs>